Beautiful. Okay, so welcome everybody. Can you believe it that we are almost in March? So we're almost at the point where quarter number one is done. It's unreal almost, right? And I'm going to share some very interesting finds with you. So I've had my chance to giggle and I've really had some giggles. And today will be your chance to giggle, I suppose, when I present you with a, some very interesting trends that are happening in the marketplace. So depending where in the world you are, these trends might resonate really strong with you, or they might resonate as absolutely no ways is this a trend. Okay. But I want you to keep an open mind because... A trend is something that has been documented. It's not made up, right? So we've got to keep our eye on it. And we also have to realize when is a trend not a trend and just a fad? Okay, so that's also, we've got to be careful with that, that we don't tap into things that are fuddy-duddies, right? Or fads and not as in proper market trends. So today I'm going to chat to you about strategic alignment for growth, okay? And how do you go about doing that? All right, so uh, it's quite informative and interactive until I get to when I'm gonna share my ideas with you. Does anybody know what this picture is in front of you? Can anybody guess what this might mean? Anyone? So let's go into the chat box, everyone. And okay, here we go, chat box. Okay, Charlotte sees growth, Cara sees growth, right? Okay, so you're both on the right track. But once again, I'm going to remind you about the growth that you want to see, Nicholas sees. Once again, I'm going to remind you about something super important. And it's something that we decided that we we're all going to live by and focus on this year as our word of the year for 2023. Who remembers what that word is? Because that is what this picture is depicting. Well done, Francisco. Amplify. Okay, so that is for those of you who haven't heard and for those of you who have, I'm going to keep reminding you of it because it is, after all, our word of the year. So I want you to remember Everything I present to you today, how can you use the information I'm giving you to amplify your business? Okay, and it's such an amazing word because it can really be translated into pretty much anything, right? Okay, so my promise to you today is that by the end of the session, you're going to go from feeling perhaps, okay, a little bit confused, unsure, and hesitant. Two, by the end of the session, I guarantee you're going to be feeling determined, decided, and very excited when it comes to amplifying your growth this year and what you're going to learn to get you to that determined, excited, and decided space is simple tips and ideas on how to align your business to the market trends because I'm going to share with you in a minute why that is such an important best practice in your business. Okay, there is a 10% gift for you if you stay to the end. And in fact, I changed it afterwards and I've made it a 20%. Okay, so if you stay to the end, I'm going to tell you what your, what your gift of 20% is going to be. So everybody, please... You know what happens. This is time to go into the chat box and say, deal, that you're going to give me 35 minutes of your time with absolute zero distractions right now. So whether it means Tracy going into the Rasul, whether it means putting away your phones, whether it means, please, everyone, clear minds. Okay, this is an important part of our coaching sessions that you make the decision to free yourself from distractions and that is a very important step towards that amplification process. Okay, 
So I want to hear deals. Otherwise, we can't move forward. So I want deals from everyone in this presentation that you agree that for 35 minutes, I have your undivided attention. Your, I've got a lot of other deals still to go here. Hello. I'm so glad you made it. You're going to love this. Hi, Laura. Nice to have you here. Okay. And Oshima, hello. Well done. Okay. Lots of deals. Right. Let's move on. Then we need to qualify that you're in the right place so that I don't waste your time because as we all know, time is very precious. So I want you to say right place, okay? Just to make sure that this is the information that you're needing today. If you're not sure what the current market trends are, but you might be sure, but maybe you're not sure how to incorporate the trends into your current model as you have it right now. You might also be feeling a bit afraid to make any changes. And you're also in the right place if you are ready to commit to amplifying your business revenue. Okay, who is in the right place? Let me know. So I just want to see the word right place. Ready. Oh, good, Nicola. Right place. Hello, Thelma. Nice, Lara. Right place. Awesome. I love it. Great. All right. So why am I the perfect coach to help you? So Francisco, this is your first giggle that you're allowed to have. Tracy, I'm sure you're giggling already. So I'll tell you why I'm the perfect coach to help you. Besides the hundreds of thousands of testimonials that I have, the fact that you're all here today to take direction, obviously means that you feel I'm the right coach. But another reason why I feel that I'm the right coach for this is because I'm not afraid to try things. I'm not afraid to dig deeper. I'm not afraid. I have an open mind. I want to try things and I want to share those successes with all of you. Okay. Are you in agreement? Do you feel that I am the perfect coach to help take you through this amplification process and also to guide you with some really interesting ideas into the market trends that are taking place at the moment? Oh, thank you, Fran. Goody, goody. Okay. So now I want you to imagine something. And while I'm telling you the imagines, I want you to go into the chat box and tell me how you feel when you see and read these words in front of you. Imagine if you knew exactly what the market trends were and you knew exactly how to implement the trends into your current model. Imagine if you had countless ideas and a plan on how to use these trends to increase revenue. And imagine that you have your very own business coach to show you how. How do you feel when you read all of this, all these imagines? How do you feel? Okay, Nicola says success, success, success. Nice. Okay, how do you all feel when you read this? When we're sitting in that imagine phase? Let me hear from you, everyone. All right. Now, oh, Cara says excitement. Lucia says on top of the world. Love it. So I want to ask you three questions. You don't need to answer them in the chat box. But very importantly, you need to take a pen and paper. And before we can move forward, I'm going to give you exactly, say, two minutes or three minutes. I want you to write down the answers to these three questions. One is why did you start your business? Okay. Or why did you make the decision to be in the current role that you are in? Okay, so think back. If it was that your husband forced you, well, then put it in there. If it was that you were bored after a divorce and you, had, you needed to do something, put it in there. I want the why did you start your business or why did you make the decision to take on your current role that you're in right now? Okay, answer that quickly. Second, what was your original plan when you started? Was your original plan to be able to afford a Ferrari? Was your original plan to give people work? 
and give back to the community? Was your original plan to be independent and to be a mentor? To be what was your original your original plan when you started might just have been or actually just to make enough money to support myself. And then question number three. What do you want to achieve now? Because I am most certain that your original plan and your what you want now are absolutely and totally different. In fact, I hope that they are. And if they are not, I need you to dig deep. So just a quick indication in the chat box. Whose answer to number two and number three is different? You can just go mine. Because remember, these you're answering these questions for yourself. And this is a very important part of this process. Because we can't move forward until you are very clear on what you need or want to achieve right now. Okay, so Lucia's two and three are different. Who else? Two and three, whose is different? Your answers. Mine, okay, great. Mine, Laura, mine. Okay, brilliant. Okay, good, mine is different. Okay, so I'm hoping it is. If it isn't, either we can have a little tiny discussion afterwards, just let me know, or we need to, I need you to go and dig deeper and to just really open up your mind to the answers of those two questions. Okay, right, so before we get going, the benefits of strategic alignment. Okay, companies and businesses all across the world, oh, well done, Danae, completely opposite, that's brilliant, good. Okay, all across the world, all across different industries, strategic alignment is important for actually point number four, explosive growth in businesses. And I've put it last because I think that the first three right now are super important to all owners and managers in our industry that I speak to on a daily basis. One is time saving. Everyone I speak to says, oh, if only I had more time, if only I could save time doing this, if only I didn't need to do this. So time saving, strategic alignment is important to save you time. It's important for team motivation, super important. Because if your team knows that you're on top of what's happening in the industry and you get their buy into this, then everybody as a unit attacks and is ready to deliver what the marketplace needs. Number three is staying ahead of the competition. What I find is happening a lot is owners and managers tend to say, well, I'm going to let somebody else try it first. And then if I see that it works, then I might try it. Does it sound familiar to any of you? So I need you to change your mindset. And instead of doing that, saying, no, hold on a second, I'm going to be the one to try it. I'm going to be the trendsetter. And for number four is explosive growth. If you align strategically and you do it properly, you experience explosive growth in your businesses. Okay, righty-o. Now, I am going to share with you now 10 market trends that are making waves globally in the industry. There's a lot of them. There's probably about 24. If I take Global Wellness Institute and Spa Wellness, and there's all there's Asia Pacific, Pacific Wellness, all these different organizations around the world. I've done about a two-week research into this. And I've really looked at which of the trends that they are talking about have got legs and are making waves. So not new, new trends, trends that that are solid, that you know that if you jump onto these trends, it's not a fad. It's an actual trend that the marketplace is moving into. Okay, so I'm going to show you a picture. So this is going to be a little bit of fun today. I'm going to show you a picture and I want you to guess what that trend is. Okay, right. Let's go, everyone. 
trend number one. What do you think this is? What do you think this could be? This is going to be fun. I'm going to have a bit of fun with this today. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, well done. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Yes, you are all right. It is menopause. Okay. Menopause has been in the spotlight for a while. So again, this is not a fad. This is a reality. And it is a big segment of our market. Now, what I want you to look at, what I present to you today, I want you to keep an open mind. And I want you to say, with every title of every trend that I give you, I want you, and please, everybody, we're here today as well to share ideas. I want you to go into the chat box if you've got an idea that I don't have on my list of easy tips and ideas to incorporate into your business because we have to respond to this trend. Either you can do menopause retreats. They are massive at the moment, but you obviously need to be in a destination spa. You can't do a menopause retreat in a city salon. It's that simple, okay? Number two, menopause tightening facial. That's pretty easy, right? I'm sure a lot of you are doing tightening facials already now. All you need to do is include the magic trending word called menopause, okay? Three, a menopause support menu. Basically, what this is, super simple. You can have it in different spots in your salon or spa, in a little tent card, and it's like a little add-on to treatments for menopausal woman. So to give you some examples, it can be a special mask in the facial. It can be a cooling mist whilst your facial is taking place. Okay. It could be cooling stones for your massage, not hot stones, but now cooling stones because that's what menopause skin and menopausal bodies want. Special sound therapy to talk into the menopausal brain. Interesting, right? Special therapy mist. So this is now going into smell that is sprayed to alleviate brain fog that is caused by menopause. How does that sound to all of you? Anybody in the chat room who perhaps is going through a menopause right now, how does it sound to you when I'm telling you all of these things, all of these little add-ons? And they inexpensive. You give them all a little price tag, 20 rand, 50 rand, but you're talking into the trend. And then menopause workshops. And I want you to remember something. Sometimes you need to educate and support and not sell. So my little uh, um, picture on the left-hand side of the screen is something that you could perhaps have printed out nice and simply for your clients who are, who are going through this phase in their life. You don't understand how much they're going to appreciate this. It is an absolute little, little gesture that goes a very long way because what are they seeing when they get this? Education and support. They are not seeing you selling them things. Okay. There is also menopause kits that you can sell. Again, it's how far do you want to take it? You can have a whole little section in your retail specific for menopause. All right. Now, what could this be, everyone? Time to guess. What could trend number two be? Yeah, Cara, Women's Month. Amazing to incorporate that. What could trend number two be? Come, I want some guesses. Trend number two. <laughs> oh, that is so funny, Cara. Beach therapy, yes. Yes, actually it is. Okay, and well done, Isabella, Charlotte. Yeah, you've all got it. It is a VR, virtual reality. And actually, it's not the, the word 
that I want you to focus on is not virtual reality. This is the word I want you to focus on. Can you see this word at the top here? Immersive experiences. Now, you can create immersive experiences in three different ways. Three different ways. Sight, sound, and sight, sound. There was another one. Sight, sound, it's, it's going to come to me. Okay. How do you create this? Because the first two, well done, sight, sound, smell. See, this is called brain fog from menopause that's happening to me right now. So I'm taking my own advice. I need to spray some stuff here to take away my brain fog. <laughs> sight, sound, and smell are three ways that you create immersive experiences in your business. The first two are pretty expensive. I am in final investigation stages with a company to introduce the most mind-blowing VR to the country that actually covers sight, sound, and smell in the same device. Yeah, super excited about it. But I want you already to start thinking, how can you do this? So it's VR sessions during a pedicure. Can you all for one second just imagine with me that you're sitting in a pedi lounge having a pedicure and you're taken into the Amazon rainforest? Just, just try and picture it for one second. What that would do to that treatment? It would take it a million notches up. VR during a mass. Creating destination rooms. Oh my word. This is not difficult, everybody. And if you can do this, this is what the consumer is wanting. They want to go into a forest. They want to go into a beach. They want to go into the desert. Or quite simply, they want to sit under the stars and the planets. So like you create a planetarium kind of looking room you know often in a spa somebody will say to me marisa what do i do with this dark and dingy room there you go there's an idea for you turn it into a planetarium it's not that difficult it's a little projector it really isn't that difficult and you can do everything in there and charge a different price because it's an immersive treatment bringing nature inside how does that sound to all of you i don't know this out of all of the trends, is the one that I'm desperate to experience. Actually, I'm desperate. So I'm going to the UK next week, and I'm making sure that I find myself a place that is going to give me a VR experience. I cannot wait to do this. Okay. What could this trend be, everybody? What could this trend be? And this is such a simple trend, yet some of you might feel, oh, no, it's too much work and it's too much effort, you know, but there's so much power in this. Anybody can guess. Networking, connecting. Okay, that one, that one word, Lara, is so powerful. Connection. Connection. Okay interactive workshops well done charlotte okay it's education education support showing support giving back this is not about come and spend money with me but let me tell you what these short and valuable workshops do they create loyalty and they show your clients that you want to help them they don't want four hour workshops they don't they want a quick one hour totally focused education class and you do things where you attract a specific market so male skincare 101 specific to me teen breakout control specific to teens hormone eating plans or menopause 101 specific little short valuable workshops that create loyalty and show your clients that you want to help them okay Next, here goes Tracy's giggle. Watch her giggle. What could this be? Be careful, everybody, what you type. <laughs> what could this be? Oh, 
Hollywood. Hmm. Some more, some more takers. What could this be? Okay, Kara's getting, Kara's getting warmer, warmer. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what it is. It's called vagina key. Okay, it is happening. It is out there. It really depends on whether you're responding to it or want to respond to it. That's another thing. I don't want you for one second to feel, oh gosh, you have to do this because it's a market trend. Don't. If this space makes you uncomfortable, you don't talk into it. But there are also so many ways that you can talk into it. And I'll tell you which ones they are. The one is vagina facials, right? They're a little bit more intimate and involved, right? They also carry a certain amount of responsibility in terms of side effects that you need to decide, are you willing to carry that or not, okay? Vaginal tightening with laser devices, very trendy. Blings, vagina blings, that's quite cute actually. So in the picture on the presentation, you can see, so it's like, you know, putting little stones on your face, except you're doing it in a different part of your body. But a, a vagina care trend that you could tap into in a very subtle way without actually adding services to your menu is on brightening or lightening the vaginal area. I mean, for that, you've got creams that are available at the moment that is just shows you subtly tapping into that market at the moment. Okay. So, yep, that is a trend. It is big. Okay. What could this be? This here you should all get. You should all get this. What could this be? And in fact, this has been a trend, by the way, for the last three years. It became a massive trend during COVID and it is growing exponentially. Yes, Isabella, well done. Sound therapy. So I'd like to ask you all a question. And I want you to think, and I want you to be completely and brutally honest with the answer. How many of you are offering bespoke music to your clients? So how many of you are offering your clients their music of choice? Can I hear a yes, I am, or no, we're not? You, I mean, it, I'm hoping that a few of you are going to say no, we are not, because that's why we're here today. We are here today to make these type of changes. Okay, so if there was ever a trend Yo, I'm in love with quite a few trends. One is the immersive therapies. And in fact, immersive therapy includes sound therapy in it. And this one, for me, is so powerful that I, I, I don't have the words to explain it. But for you to offer music of choice, number one, that's a simple one. But number two, and more powerful than that, is Point number three and two is a sound bath or a music matched to the client's needs on the day. So if I arrive and I say, I am feeling anxious and super stressed, you offer me a headset or music in my room from a sound bar that meets and talks into anxiety with specific beats, okay, there's binaural beats that are, are quite trending at the moment, but really we need to, to talk into this. We really have to. Sound is both powerful, it has the ability to heal, and it is memorable. People will leave your salon or spa saying, oh my word, I had the best massage, but she played the most incredible music to help me sleep better because I told her I have problems sleeping. Please, everyone, this is more powerful than you have any idea. Okay, what could this one be? Trend number six, 
Okay, we're getting to the end because we have 10. Trend number six, what could this one be, everyone? Can anybody guess what could this trend be? Francisca, environmentally conscious, Cara, organic, eco-friendly. Okay, you're all sort of going there, okay? And I'm going to say the famous words that have been on everybody's mouth but that we're not pretty much doing too much about it at the moment. And that is sustainability. Question for all of you. How many of you have five or more sustainable initiatives going on in your business right now? And I've got a second part to the question that the clients know about and can take part in. It's one thing you saying, okay, everybody, uh, we don't use single use plastics, but the clients don't know it. Or um, we have a recycling bin for our uh, cosmetic packaging, but the clients don't know about it. Okay. So how many of you have five or more simple initiatives going where the clients know about it and are involved? Let me hear. You can say, not me. Okay, well, Laura, that's why you're here. So it's not unfortunately, it's fortunately, because that's why you're here today. So now sustainability, if you start researching it, can actually make you go totally dilly because there are hundreds of things that you need to do. I want you to take a step back and start with these simple four steps that I have for you. One, is appoint a green officer in your business. How do you choose one? Offer it to your team. It has to be either a therapist or one of your front desk or spa coordinators or salon coordinators. It cannot be you as the owner or manager. Absolutely not. You need to find that hug -a tree personality, that living in the forest with the fairies personality. You have to find that person because they have the passion in them. Then number two is start with five totally simple initiatives. Things that you are already actually doing. But number three is implement and announce it to clients. It's simple. Make a little poster in a frame. Put it up at reception. These are initiatives. Please take part and join us. Okay, and get your clients involved. So in your bathroom, please think twice before you put the towel to wash or please think twice before you take two papers to dry your hands. Little initiatives that just make everybody aware that we are trying to strive towards more sustainability. Okay, next one. What could this be? This is going to be Francisco's next giggle and Tracy's next giggle. What could this be? Any takers? Magic mushrooms. Okay. So we're taking it a step further than just magic mushrooms. We're calling it and it is a thing, by the way, the psychedelic revolution, okay? And psychedelics come in many shapes and forms. You will need to research them. I can help guide you to a certain extent. I'm not a psychedelic like guru or what do they call those sh sh shamans or whatever it is that leads you through those um, um, shroom retreats. But there's a lot happening in the marketplace that you could tap into in your own little way. And I've put a picture there of Vida Cafe, who is a coffee shop in a coffee shop chain in South Africa. They have really cleverly tapped into the psychedelic revolution. And I buy coffees from Vida every now and again. And I've asked them because I did try it and they taste blah. For me, absolutely awful. So I thought, well, if I don't like them, surely other people don't like them. And they said that their CBD and their shroom 
coffees are top of people's uh, requests nowadays. So there obviously is the trend, right? So you can incorporate it in very subtle ways because people might think, well, Marisa, I can't do a mushroom or a psychedelic retreat. Okay, if you're not in that environment, no, you can't. But you could do a shroom cappuccino and you could offer a shroom salad. And you could do, by the way, every single one of you could do psychedelic smoothies. Just the word psychedelic is going to sell them, I can tell you now. You could also do ayahuasca guided meditations. Super easy. That is a treatment on its own. You don't need to go full blown just yet, but start talking into this a little bit. Okay. Right, next trend. What could this be? What could this be? Anybody guess this one? We've got two more to go. Anybody guess what this trend could be? Yes. Okay, so yes and no, Fran. So you're right, but just one word, because retreat tells me that we're going away somewhere. I want you to look at this as very differently. I want you to try and create your spaces, your spas and salons as digital detox moments or experiences and make it fun for your clients. So say to them, we have a sleeping bag for your cell phone with a charging station. So by the time you leave here, your phone is charged, you are rested, you've had an hour of a digital detox, a true digital detox, or you offer them a cell phone babysitting service during their treatment, where there's somebody who will answer their phone and take messages if they want during their treatment. But most importantly, is advertise and announce why you are doing this. So don't have a no cell phones allowed or everybody drop your phones in here or, you know, just a sign saying you can't talk on your phone. That's not what you want. You want to motivate and inspire people to hand over their device. You'll have things like one hour without your device will give you the following benefits. One, two, three, four, five. Leave it in here. Put it in the sleeping bag. You can even do it in your lockers and make it fun and explain to clients why you're doing this. The more education you give, the better the, tr the treatment results are because now they're feeling like, gosh, I've had my facial and I've had digital detox and I've had sound therapy and I've had an immersive experience. Now, imagine what they're going to say when they leave about that. Okay, right. Trend number nine. What could this be? What do you think this might be? Trend number nine. Any takers? Trend number nine is actually the biggest growing trend for the last two years. Okay, so you're sort of going in the right direction. Karen and Lara, sort of. What it is, is technology driven services. Okay. So it's quite interesting that the trend before the pandemic was very much about hands on therapies, meditative all natural kind of experiences. And since the pandemic and growing year on year on year on year is technology driven services, whether they are face or body. The consumer wants to see bigger, quicker, more tangible results. In fact, actually, even if they don't see the results, they want technology on their body. That's what they want. Okay, so I want to advise all of you, choose at least one piece of new technology this year. If you're doing needling, 
at dermaplaning. If you're doing dermaplaning and needling, at RF needling. If you are doing all of those, at 5D high food. There is so many. So I've given you a list of, oh, sorry, wait. With the technology-driven services, because people tell you what the trends are, right? But they don't tell you how to make those trends work. So if you're not prepared to take before and after pictures and get testimonials, don't waste your time with the technology because that will lead to the referrals and the bookings and will boost your revenue. So two tips of advice here. One is you've got to be prepared to do testimonials and before and after pictures. And number two, you've got to choose a piece of equipment that has a return on investment of under 12 months. An absolute must. If you cannot return the investment on that piece of equipment in under 12 months, don't waste your time and money on it. Two to three years is absolutely no longer an option. What are the latest pieces of equipment trending globally all around the world? Fat Freeze has made a comeback. So it was, it's quite strange because Fat Freeze made a debut, a sort of a debut in 2016, 2017, 2018, but they could only ma manage to do 180 degree fat freeze. Now the technology does 360 degree fat freeze. 5D HIFU, again, it's an upgrade on your normal HIFU. RF needling, hydrobrasion, so instead of microdermabrasion, it's resurfacing the skin using water or solutions, and then fractional CO2 laser. Those are the ones causing the biggest market stirs at the moment. Okay, so if you need any help or direction on which is the right one for your specific business and you're not sure, then please reach out to me privately and I will help you to, to give you all the tools necessary to make that decision. Okay. And last but not least, what do you think this is? We have reached our number 10 trend, global trend to align our businesses. And again, this has been a growing trend from the pandemic, absolutely nonstop escalation year on year. Brain health, muscle memory. Okay, you're getting close. Well, all of it, sort of. Mental well-being. It is top of mind. How do you tap into this in very subtle ways? But you need to tell your clients that you as a business are aware of this. Why? They're coming to you to feel better. So give them a mental well-being quote on arrival. Have it lying on their bed, the mental well-being quote of the day. Have mental well-being Mondays as part of your marketing strategy. So perhaps you've got a special music that you play on a Monday that is specific to mental well-being and brain health. Also, target all of your social media activities to mental well-being on a Monday. Or you could have, or and you could have, once a quarter mental well-being workshops. Again, we spoke about the education and workshops, so they go hand in hand. You could have every quarter just a quick one-hour psychology lecture, just something on how to keep yourself mentally well and healthy. Okay. All right, everyone. So what trend, before we carry on, or what trends spoke to you the most today? and excited you the most today. Should I go over them one more time? Let's quickly look. So we've got mental well-being, technology, digital detox, psychedelics, sustainability, sound therapy, vagina care, 
education workshops, immersive experiences, and menopause. Okay, wow. Right, let me keep going here till I get to. It's just so interesting to see who says what here. Joanne, VR and sound therapy. Okay, I thought you would love that. Menopause for Lara. Charlotte, VR immersive experiences. Nicola, education, digital detox, and tech-driven services. Immersive sound therapy, 100% for your spa, Fran. Brilliant. Technology and VR. Joanne, and menopause. Definitely, Joanne, you've got like... Joanne, you also have the perfect spot for workshops, eh? Hey? Just little education workshops as well. Francisco, mental well-being, 100%. Technology and VR. Marily, education, sound therapy and technology. Amazing. Good, good, good. Okay, so what's next for all of us? So some of you, I know what you're all going to say here, but let's hear it. Danae, sound, sustainability, mental well-being, digital detox, lovely. Would you like to take your business skills and knowledge to the next level so that you can double or triple your revenue this year? Most of you, I know what your answers are, but it would be nice to hear from a few of you who are online today. <laughs> Joanne, I knew you were going to say that. Nicola says yes. Joanne says yes. Who else? Who else wants to take their business to the next level? Okay, there's a very easy way to do this. It really is this easy, by the way, is make time to learn you yourself. So my first congratulations wants to say to all of you, well done for being here today, because this is an hour and we all know how precious time is out of your busy day. And it's a busy time of day now, children and all the rest of it that you've made to make time to learn. But now let me ask you a question. Learn continually, there's always one more thing to learn. Who of you on this session today felt that you learned something new? And there's some of you here who are very experienced in our industry and who've been around for a long time. How many of you, there we go, Francisco's number one, me, I learned something new. Okay. Now, that is what blows my mind, that no matter how experienced we are, we will always land up learning something new. So please, everyone, this needs to be priority for all of you. There's two ways to do it for you. One is you can do it yourself. Two is to join us and use my 100% proven framework and step-by-step -step roadmap. Joining our global community that is continuously learning. I'm going to very quickly flip through these slides because I don't want you to read the content, but I want you to see the structure of what is covered in the back end of our community. Staff, human resources, operations, marketing and sales, social media, revenue management, and, 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 and. Okay, so I said to you, if you stay to the end, there is a special, and here it is taking the next step to achieving double digit growth in your business. But before I tell you what that is, is I want to ask you a question and you don't have to put a price to it, but you can say priceless or what you can put a price to it because you're all in the industry and you know what these kind of things cost. What would you pay for over 200 templates that are ready to use? So you take them, you implement it in your business, you adjust, boom, you use it. A guaranteed business blueprint. So it's a step-by-step -step taking you through, this is how to run my business. Global community professionals that you can tap into. Live group coaching like we have today. Weekly valuable newsletters, which I hope they are because I always take a lot of time to think about what am I going to tell you about this week. Ongoing upgrades and additions to our templates and course information and practically your personal business coach by your side. Anybody want to give a go what you would pay for something like that? So whilst you're typing in that chat box, billions. <laughs> there we go. Shani took a go at it. She took a stab at it. She'd pay 10,000 US dollars for that. 
Okay, so we're going to give you a 20% staving before, if you register before the 1st of March to join us. Most of you are members on our community, and I hope that you are all getting like huge value from, from being a part of this. But instead of paying $197 a month, you will pay $157 a month. Okay, to get this link, okay, because if you go and you register, you're going to immediately pay $197, please email info at spaprofessionalsguild.com and we will give you the 20% booster for staying to the end today. Okay, Francisco, 157 US dollars is a steal. Well, for all of that, it is. Okay, so everyone, thank you. I hope that I've given you amazing tools. Wow, we're finishing before one hour today. That is like a record. And I would love to just get a checkout word from everybody very quickly before you say goodbye. So let's see, how are you feeling today, everyone? Hope that you're feeling one of those words that I said you were going to feel after the session. So let's let's hear what everybody has to say. How do they feel today? Joanne is inspired. Joanne, I know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to look at how can you do this and add this and do that. <laughs> and you're probably going to phone me and say, Marisa, this VR thing, can you please hurry up and tell me when is it going to be here? What is it? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Lara's inspired. Nice, Lara. I hope that you're inspired to join our community because we would love to have you. Okay, Eve's motivated. You too, we would love to have you join us. Cara loves the new ideas. Nicola's determined, renewed and going to investigate. Good, Francisco. Renal, inspired and excited, motivated, inspired. I love it. Okay, everybody, from me to you, I will be in England next week. So just watch social media to see what I'm up to. I'm speaking twice at um, the World Spa and Wellness Convention and at the International Manufacturers Forum as well. So I'm hoping to record both sessions to be able to share it with you and love you all lots. Francisco's jealous. Come book your flight. Let's go. Okay, everyone, love you all lots. Bye. Happy implementation and get hold of me if you need any help. I'm just on that other side of the phone. Ciao, ciao. 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 Happy stock take, Bran. I'm done. Ha. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget your photograph, hey? You have to do your photograph before you go home. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot already. Vale. <laughs> bye. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Uh -huh.